رسوله الكريم اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم we were doing welcome ramadan and today is part 3 we are going to cover shahr al sabr month of patience patience means to stop and to control oneself so sabr is habsul nafs you know one has to stop oneself and here uh we came across a lot of unpleasant events in life at times we might be at you know receiving end of someone's transgression isn't it but if we react hastily in a negative way it can worsen the situation so we have to check ourselves the only solution is sabr patience you know especially when somebody hit you like in you know not physically i'm saying like you know it hurt so much you you feel like you know taking revenge or something or acting in a negative manner but you know just uh, remind yourself i'm going to do sabr for the sake of allah whenever like you know we are about to take a negative action fasting is a continuous reminder you know it happens in ramadan time also people they react very badly and they behave very bad so you have to one must refrain from arguing and creating unnecessary disturbance at such instances the word you know we have to say whenever they say unreasonable things you you you, you should remind them i'm fasting so fasting is a shield you know it's a defense it's a mechanism that remind us that you know i can control myself <coughs> i know how to be patient right so it gives you like a fuel to your body it gives so much energy this fasting that you can control otherwise in normal time it looks hard though but in the ramadan time this is the best time if one can control your nafs and also it's a training not only like we are controlling in ramadan time otherwise also So here fasting is a shield or protection from the fire and from committing sins if any one of you is fasting he should avoid sexual relation with his wife and quarreling if somebody should fight or quarrel with him he should say i am fasting this is in sahih al bukhari as siyam junnatun junnatun is a shield you know wa iza kana yawm as sawm ahadikum fala a uh, yarfa yarfasu is you know don't do any rafas with your wife or husband wife vice versa and also uh, here when one is arguing or fighting you have to say inni imra'un sa'im you know i am doing fasting so don't argue or don't get carried away fasting removes rancor of the heat It is narrated by Ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhu that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said fasting in the month of is the month of patience sabr in Ramadan and fasting for 3 days each month removed the rancor you know of the heart this is in sahih tarqib what are the 3 days you know ayyam abid 13 14 and 15 of the lunar calendar so here Uh, fasting you know we are achieving so much good it's just not like abstaining from food and drink and all the things which we which is halal otherwise we are controlling ourselves from husband wife relation and so on so it actually bring new change in your body as well as in your soul that is good for you fasting puts a break on some of our uh, most beloved pastimes and train us to be a patient which is necessary virtue if we want to attain success both in this world as well as hereafter it is stated in the quran inni jazaituhum yawma bima sabaru annahum humul faizun this is in surah al mu'minun ayah number 111 indeed i have rewarded them the day for their patient endurance and they are attainers of success surah al mu'minun 111 So here, what we uh, learn in ni jazaitum jaza means whatever the uh, recompense, the reward. Yawma on that day bima sabaru because you were doing sabar. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given this. So here in this ayah number um, Suratul Mu'minun ayah number one eleven, it says in ni jazaitum yawma 
ஒர்க் what we should do we should just tolerate it and move ahead you know you can change the place you know you could say no i have to leave and you can go in a nice manner not you know showing anger or showing in a gesture or manner just say just i want to leave I, i'll be back and you know but what happens you know if you react that moment of time the complete things changes even though they were doing wrong with you they were zalim they were doing the oppression with you but what happens when you react more than that what they did then you are losing the ajr so you know just do sabr complete sabr you remember that famous hadith when abu bakr siddiq he somebody was saying something and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was watching and he was smiling but as soon as abu bakr siddiq replied Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam left and later on we came to know because till that time angels were making dua and praising as soon as he react then you know things changed so here also we learn that in that situation in negative situ- situation you could leave that place or you know you even if you are talking on the phone or on the chat just you know take some time what happens that moment of time if you react you could say things which is not appropriate which is not right because that moment of time you are very angry and upset but later on when things get calm down sometimes it takes some time uh, like you know accordingly it may take some for some people it may take few days or few weeks depends or few months but let the things get calm down so that when you face each other like you know for the sake of allah be good to them do salam and you know how are you and all but that's how we can deal the things deal the situation and especially what about like you know you are very angry or upset are you going to yell at the you know family no you have to control yourself maybe you are angry or upset because of your own personal reason but that moment of time also you you going to control yourself in surah dahar ayah number 12 it says wa jazahum bima sabaru jannatan wa harira jaza again the reward for what bima sabaru they were doing sabar and that is the reason allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave jannat and that to hear the translation and will reward them for what they patiently endured with the garden in paradise and silk garments all the ladies they love silk garments and we want good clothes isn't it so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving good clothes that to silk subhanallah you know although practicing patience can be extremely hard but its reward is without account you know in surah az-zumar in ayah number 10 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says say o oh my servants who have believed fear your lord for those who do good in this world and is good and the earth of allah is spacious indeed the patients will be given their reward without account kul ibadil ladina amanu taqaw those who believe they we have to adopt taqwa rabbakumul ladina ahsanu and do ahsan good fi hazi dunya hasanatan wal arda lillahi wasiyatun inna ma yuwaffa sabiruna ajruhum bi ghairi hisab and they are getting the ajr without any cutting off like you know uh, you are getting unlimited ajr unlimited reward but what is the key thing they were doing first of all allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says allazina amanu these are the people who believe and what else they do they fear allah ittaqu taqwa we already discussed in the uh, first clip and for those who do good in this world and they do good lil ladina ahsanu fil hazihi dunya 
एंड द अर्थ ऑफ अ लाइव स्पेशियस मीन्स इट इज वसी अर्थ इज वेरी वसी इन डीड द पेशेंट विल गिव इन द रिवॉर्ड विदाउट अकाउंट यू नो यू फील लाइक समबडी इज हर्टिंग और समथिंग अर्थ इज वेरी स्पेशियस गो हैड एंड यू नो यू विल बी रिवॉर्डेड फॉर बीमा सबरु and what we learn in this you know sabar chapter you know try to be patient even in most difficult time and sabar is like you know sabratul ula the you know when calamity hits you that moment of time you have to do sabar like you are yelling and getting upset breaking the things and later on you are you know calm down and saying i am doing sabar no and that's not it at at sadmatul ula when you the affliction hit you that moment of time you are doing the sabar and specially taking care of tongue you know when what you are to, uh, saying just think about it before saying before taking uh, out words from your mouth but as i mentioned when you are very angry or upset or somebody is really hurting you don't say anything take your time okay and control your anger and you know uh, it's not just controlling anger surah al ali imran in ayah number 133 allah subhanahu wa taala says who are the muhsinun they control their anger and they they gulp it down the anger kazimin ghais wa afina ananas and they control anger as well as they forgive people i'm not saying like you go and tell people even that they are doing the operation and doing zulm and you keep on going and telling them oh i forgive you for the sake of allah no it's not so that's not a hikma it's between you and allah tell allah even though she is doing zulm and oppressing me i'm forgiving her or him for the sake of allah but what if if they come in front of you maybe sometimes they will ask forgiveness and forgive them already you you forget gave her or him in front of allah but what about when they come in front of you but many times it happens they don't ask you forgiveness what about that then also move on just say salam and move on don't get uh, you know uh, angry and upset i know it's hard just move on and keep remind your uh, yourself you know positive action and positive result not the negative thing so here shahrul quran month of ramadan is shahrul quran quran is the speech of allah and who is the author of this book allah subhanahu wa taala his uh, book is very honorable you know kiraman very, very honored and uh, revelation was done on rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam for 23 years and he has allah has chosen the most blessed night in the most blessed month of ramadan what is that lailatul qadr but uh, you know quran revealed in 23 years gradually nazala but when we talk about lailatul qadr that is from loh e mahfuz you know the original copy which allah subhanahu wa taala has so here inna anzalnahu fi lailatin mubarakatin inna kunna munzirin this is in surah duqan ayah number 3 indeed we sent it down during a blessed night indeed we were to warn mankind so the, at another place it is said shahru ramzan allazi that is in surah al baqarah ayah number 185 shahru ramzan allazi unzila fihi al quran hudal lin nas wa bayyinat min al huda wal furqan and shahru ramzan the month of ramzan is that which was revealed the quran guidance for the people and clear proofs of the guidance and the criterion so we learn like quran was in the huda and for uh, it is quran huda lin nas wa bayyinat it's the guidance for it's not ya ayyuhal ladina amanu it's huda lin nas for the whole mankind and also bayyinat clear proofs min al huda wal furqan and furqan it distinguish between right and wrong so it distinguish between hidayah and uh, dalalat so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to recite the quran to jibril alaihi salam during the month of ramadan abdullah ibn masud radhiyallahu anhu said jibril alaihi salam used to meet him every night of the month of ramadan till it elapsed allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to recite the quran to him 
This is in Sahih Al Bukhari. We learn through another narration that you know the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to recite Quran, whatever had revealed so far. So Jibril Al Islam once every year and in the last year of his life he revised twice. This is in Sahih Al Bukhari. From the above prophetic tradition, a hadith we learn of the close affinity between our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Quran. So therefore we should also establish a close relationship with the Quran. During this special month, we can do in the following manner, you know, recitation of the Quran. And you know, when you are doing the recitation of the Quran, make sure that you are reciting correctly. It's not like, you know, some people, they make a habit, just they are reading so fast. They don't know like whether it was Dhamma, Fatha, Kasra or Haraka, um, mistake or sometimes, you know, you're changing the, actually, if you do the Haraka mistake, sometimes it's a uh, major mistake you are doing. Literally, you are changing the meaning. Like everybody knows what is Kalb and Kalb. Like you know, Kalb is heart and Kalb is uh, dog. That's why I'm just giving an example. So don't be, you know, hasty in reading the Quran. Read Quran slowly and if you have problem reading it, just listen to the Quari and then look into the Musaf. So this is the right time. Prepare yourself and in Ramadan, inshallah, make a habit to read more and more. I'm not saying to stop reading it. No, you have to read it. Depends on you how much you can read and how much you can do it. But please make a habit because this is a training period and start reading the Quran. And if you are fluent in reading it, inshallah, uh, 22 to 24 pages each day from Usmani Musab, you could complete whole Quran in 29-30 days. What if like you know in between you are missing your days because of period then you can start doing more like you know 30 page or so on and that way you could finish it inshallah or more than that and you can distribute it you know try to recite more in Fajr time and then in Dohar also sometimes you get if you are not working if you are at home if you are working you know after coming from Asr just uh, you can take some time and after that you can start reciting. Depends on you how you can do it. And Surah Al-Fatir, it says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Indeed those who recite the book of Allah and establish prayer and spend in His cause out of what we have provided them secretly and publicly can expect a prophet that will never perish. Here, in Allazina yatluna al-kitab Allahi. And what is the yatluna? Kitab here, it's for tilawa. And how we should do the tilawa? The proper etiquettes of tilawa. The recitation should be good, nicely, proper way of stopping where it has to be stopped. And the uh, we, we should learn. Kitab Allahi, uh, Allah's book, that is Quran. وَأَخَامُ salah Then establish salah. وَأَنْفَقُ And spend. مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُ what Allah has given. So when we are talking about spending, we are just not just tangible things, just just spending money, also spending our skills, time and so on. And then Sirran wa Alania, you know, give publicly and when you know fundraising is going on or masjid needs money or some people need money, you can give, you know, Sirran wa Alania. But the intent should intention should be to please Allah, not to show off. For Riya, it shouldn't be for the Riya, you know. Riya is also a khafi shirk, hidden shirk. And also here it mentioned, Yarjuna tijaratan lan tabura. Here this tijara is, you know, this it will have the profit and it will not perish. Allah is saying, Allah is giving that guarantee. So that is why we should spend more and more time in reading the Quran. When you don't have to read it, just listen to it. I know many people, they say, oh, when we are, you know, in the period, what we should do? Listen to good qaris, you know, that way you improve your recitation. And in this, you know, it's a good time to memorize it. Make it a habit to memorize it. And recitation of Quran during, you know, especially night prayers, that is Taravi. When you go to Taravi, that's a good thing. Just, you know, um, review the juice which is going on there so that you should concentrate and understand in a better manner. 
there's a hadith Abdullah bin Amr radiallahu anhu narrated that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the fast and the Quran are two intercessor for the servant of Allah on the day of resurrection so what are the two things that will intercede you that is fast siyam and the Quran the fast will say oh la lord i prevented him from his food and desires during the day let me intercede for him the quran will say i prevented him from sleeping at night let me intercede for him and their intercession will be accepted this is in musnad ahmad so here a siyam of al quran bi shifa ani uh, who will do shifa quran and lil ibadi yawm al qiyama on the day of judgment and yaqul al siyam and what the siyam will say what the fasting will say ay ya rabbi you know he stop mana'atuhu ta'am he stop himself from ta'am from eating and what else was shahwat he stop himself from eating and drinking and also from shahwat and then a bin nahari fashfini fihi wa yaquluna quran mana'atu nawma bil layl and quran will say you know he stop himself from sleeping now you know he didn't sleep and bil layl and he was awake reciting the quran so this is like you know when you wake up for tahajjud and you recite quran and this quran will do the sifarish it's not only just uh, uh, during the tahajjud time but here particularly mentioned that in musnad ahmad riwayat but also make it a habit to recite quran i notice like many of my teachers they always be in the wudu and keep the uh, mushaf ready and they read it whenever they get chance to they start reciting quran so we should love quran so much it's not like you know putting in the cover and putting on the top shelf no that's not the love show your love keep mushaf everywhere keep it handy start reading it when, whether you in, in the car whether we, wherever you get the chance and the good thing is be in wudu so that way you won't you know waste your time so here we learn that you know on the day of just judgment fasting and the quran will intercede so subhanallah make it a habit you know and we should appreciate everyone who is not fasting you know to fast how important it is it's a junna it's a shield and it we it is the entrance to jannah because that's the babul rayyan through that we can enter in the you know uh, jannah that is one of the door prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam led the night prayer tarawih thrice during the last 10 days of ramadan and made long recitation therein so here we learn in this is in sahih bukhari he did 3 days and this was like you know thrice during the last 10 days of the ramadan and uh, whoever can go to tarawih it's good please go and attend but make sure that uh you attend your fard prayer that is important just don't delay that so get a full ajr memorization as i mentioned before you know try to memorize the quran there is a hadith in sunan abu daud the one who has devoted to the quran will be told on the day of resurrection recite and ascend in the rank as you used to recite when you were in the world your ranks will be at the last aya you recite so here it says you recite and ascend so most of the mufassir says this is about memorizing the verses memorizing the ayahs of the quran but some says even you know regular recitation but if you memorize it it's good inshallah make it a habit and then you know doing tadabbur that's reflecting on the quran you know when allah subhanahu wa taala says fear allah and have taqwa we should reflect on those ayahs we should have taqwa we should fear allah and when allah says you know because of we learn in um, you know in sabr chapter like you know when you do sabr because of that you are given jannah so try to you know do tadabbur tadabbur uh, on the quran and in surah sad ayah number 29 it says kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakan liyudabbaru ayatihi wa liyatazakkaru ulul albab This is a blessed book. What Quran? And we have revealed to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that they might reflect upon its verses, and that those of the understanding would be 
reminded so we want to be you know take um, uh, we want to do tadabbur on the quran and you know learning and teaching the quran this is a good thing you know one of the hadith it comes uh, allah loves those people who learns and teaches the quran so why don't we learn and why, why don't we teach the quran inshallah it can be you know some people they know recitation very well how to read it or some people they know tafsir some people know word meaning some people know grammar you know so on whoever knows their best they, they can judge themselves like you know they they have the ability to teach in what way if your recitation is not good just just stick to word to word and translation and tafsir and mashallah we got nice tafsir books uh, ibn kaseer and so many books are there authentic and you can do that and in sahih muslim no people gather is one of the house of allah reciting the book of allah and teaching it to one another but the angel will surround them and what will happen tranquility will descend upon them mercy will envelop them and allah will mention them to those who are with him to the angels subhanallah so here we learn you know when you gather and you recite i'm not saying like you know you are doing uh, like everybody is reciting and finishing no not that sense here what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying yatluna al kitaba you know uh, and tadrusu and here reciting quran and teaching to one another like you know you know how to recite and you're teaching or you know tafsir and you're gathering and learning from each other that's how it's it doesn't mean like you know juz 1 to 30 everybody is gathering and finishing it it's not so here it's clearly it means like you know uh learning from the quran and then not only the recitation also the tafsir or word meaning or doing tadabbur and that time the angels will be surrounded surrounded them you know you could say you know halaqa like every weekly some people do or monthly so on get connected with that what will happen because of the recitation and because of the uh, quran the angels will envelop and tranquility alaihim sakinatu sakinat will be there and we all want tranquility and peace in our heart and allah and envelop them and allah will mention them to those who are with him that angels so this is the thing you know many people they make habit of doing dars and halaqa whether in masjid or at home we should do that inshallah and we should learn from each other but make sure that you learn from uh, authentic source and teach in a good manner you should uh do in the manner what rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us so what what things we have to do recite the quran frequently during the month of ramadan and also after the Ram, ramadan still we going to continue and we we going to try to memorize some of the ayas depending upon you how much you can memorize and ensure that you uh, you listen to quran when you go to tarawi and concentrate uh in the tarawi and make an effort to understand and reflect upon the meaning of the quran doing the tadabbur invite family and fr- friends to quran and encourage them to towards it understanding okay and try to uh, like you know organize a, a gathering of the quran you know listening as i mentioned before like uh, halaqas and uh, teaching each other and this way we can you know what happens when we gather and listen it will increase your iman that's a iman booster i know many people they sit at home and they say we can learn but when you come to some place or masjid when you learn there that's a different way because angels are gathering there and you know if you can't um, read the um, like you know maybe you have difficulty in reading just listen to it and look into the mushaf and also when you are in, uh, in period try to listen more lectures or and recitation and so on jazakallah khairan kaseera subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nasta